Titus International Institute presents Church Leadership with Dr. Lee Robertson. Lesson number 13, The Invitation, Part 1. Now you'll have to watch this a little bit. Now listen very carefully. I've followed uh, Billy Graham very closely. I brought Billy Graham to the city for a meeting way back in the early 40s. No one knew him. A actually, no one knew him. He preached for me at the city auditorium. I was then head of the Youth for Christ in the city, way back there. I put him out at Mark Cameron's church in Alden Park on Sunday morning to preach. A little church in Alden Park, Billy Graham. I didn't come out here for a service. And uh, just beginning. But Billy Graham went on. And he developed an invitation which is distinctive. How many of you have heard him on, you've watched him on TV? Have you, on, 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 uh, how many of you ever been to an actual Billy Graham meeting? You've been in a meeting. All right, I've been in both of them. Now watch, I watched him. I'm not, uh, not approving his, his relationships with uh, people at all, not doing that. But I'm just trying to show you what, what can be done. He has a distinctive way of giving it. And he expects a, a response, and he has it. And people come forward. Now you watched him give the invitation. You watch what he says. He prepares for it. He works up to it. Now, I brought with me a book that has just come from the press recently called The Effective Invitation. It was written by a teacher in the Crystal Bible School out in Texas. And he has a whole chapter given to the Billy Graham meetings and Billy Graham invitations. And quite interesting what he has to say. Now, incidentally, I recommend this book to you. Now, I will do some studying of people. Now, in this day and hour, are you listening? In this day and hour, there are two men who get a big response to every invitation. I'm going to surprise you right now. The first is Billy Graham. He gets a big response to every invitation. Am I right? You watched him. I mean, a lot of people come forward. I'll surprise you when I tell you that a second man is giving invitation and getting a big response is Jimmy Swagger. That's right, Pentecostal Assembly of God. Huh? I know him, Jimmy Swigert. And uh, Jimmy's not a Baptist. He's a gentleman. I, I got to say that because I know, th I know this for a fact. I know what he does. But he gives the invitation. If you watch him on TV sometime, he gives the invitation, you'll see the people streaming forward. I mean, they come. They come. And uh, that's his way. And he preaches. Uh, he's one evangelist of the Pentecostal group that actually stands up and just pray, plain preaches. He hits sin, condemns sin, and talks about the Lord, the Savior, and stays on the line. Now, I know he's different from our Baptist view, but in other words, he's doing it. Now, these two men give invitation, public invitations that are responded to. Now, God can use your methods.